Thank you for joining us for devotions today. We continue to study the first article of the Creed, which says, I believe in God the Father, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth. We've talked about the centrality of faith to our Christian identity. We've talked about that personal relationship that we have with God our Father. But today we're going to talk about God our Father as Maker. Right here, in the first article of the Creed, we are thrown back to the very beginning of time where we discover something incredibly important about our Heavenly Father. We learn something important about who He is. He is a Father who enjoys to create. He loves to make. He loves to make beautiful things. And when we look at the creation story, we know He creates beautiful things out of nothing. Ex nihilo. With his, simply His words, He calls things into being. And this is a core and central aspect of who God is and how He wants to be known. And so we're going to think a little bit about what that means to us. When I was uh, a young man growing up, one of the vacations that my family used to take was uh, we would go backpacking in the Rocky Mountains. And there is one such experience that always sticks with me. We had a plan to summit a mountain that day, so we woke up early in the morning before the sun had risen, and we started hiking. And as we hiked, the world around us started to get lighter. And the more we hiked, we started to get above the tree line. And then all of a sudden, we crested a ridge. The sun had just broken across the horizon. And next to us was the mountain that we had planned to summit that day. And the mountain was, was 12,000 feet, which to some people isn't a lot, but to a boy who's born and raised in Missouri, 12,000 foot tall mountain is a massive existence. It is bigger than anything that I had ever experienced, and it is looming next to us like, like some sleeping giant. But as we stood on the ridge with the mountain standing next to us and looking down over the valley floor that was speckled with clouds and the first rays of light of the day are shimmering off of them and the trees that stand below us dance in the morning dew, I stood there and took it all in. And I had an experience, and perhaps you've had an experience like this, an experience of just sheer wonder. Our God, the maker of heaven and earth, had created this, this beauty. And no picture, no words, nothing man can create can capture that experience, that moment of awe. It is simply sublime, <laughs> something only God can create. But as you stand and, and look at the vast beauty of creation and its magnitude, you also realize that our Heavenly Father, He isn't just our Father. He's also the Father of giraffes. <laughs> He's the Father of rocks. He's the father of clouds. He's the father of stars. He has created everything in heaven and on earth. He created all of these things and He is their father too. And so we share in all of creation, singing and giving praise to the creator of the universe. And we all recognize together that our Father loves to create. And most importantly, our Father, when He created you, He knew you even before time. He knew every 
aspect about you. He knew your personality. He knew the hairs on your head. He knew about your smile. And He made you. He created you as His beautiful child. Isn't that incredible? That's our Father, the Maker of the heavens and the earth. Please pray with me. Almighty Father, Maker of heaven and earth, I praise You for having fashioned me in love and set me within this world, which You have also created, for all that You have given me in body and soul, and for the wondrous ways in which You take care of me. I give You thanks. Keep me mindful of Your bountiful gifts, ever looking to You for all good things in this earthly life, and teach me to receive them as Your child and heir. Through Jesus Christ, Your Son. Amen.